Okay, there's the music. I'm being attacked of the blue. I was getting targeted, I'm confused. ゲームに乗れ。うちのでは。エゴじゃないでね。今祝福してあげるから。選曲は配線と同じ。木を逃さず動く。いや。スローリーガーゼット。弱き者のために。グマイ。Frozen. Ah, the robot is still not. Yeah. Alright, that's sure that we're gonna have like two. ついてないね。Make you. Orega Mamore. Yoaki Mono no Tameni. Shield. Hold it. Yarisaki ni Hio. Everyone hopes and dreams. Ow. 
き放つ準備はいい。ここ炭鉱も、妖刀も、霊楽も、全部。うちの出番。うちがいるんだから負けないよ。盛り上がってるじゃん。私のリズムに乗れ。ふっか。ブラム。逃がさない。なるほど。選曲は敗戦と同じ。気を逃さず動く。うちってばなかなかやるじゃん。動かないでね。今祝福してあげるから。この曲をあなたに。はいになれ。Whatever, blast it. Huh. Ooh. All right, she heals up. Ow. What? Resurrect, I guess. n i g a t a n a i What is the part of the game where they bring the spies when she does that? Shields up, AOE. Mono no Yario, Tatske Strike. Go no Tede, Vida in a Lucy, the Kayoki Zuku. Some lyrics. This one. Not good. How many times can you? Ooh, cute. Not done yet. On the guy, on the guy, on the guy. Yes. Eat flame. How we doing? And now, broken. Well, 
Compete a war one time. We gotta be some experiences. You need to activate eight tracers for a character. Right, I'm on my way. Well, that went well. Complete Echo of War one time. Like a better version of my first attempt of beating her. Anyway, though, return to Natasha. Some fun of that. Back to Boulder Town then. Mada Hayashi, Dokoka Ikoka. Julian and Alina are back here. Yeah, it's you again. I'm on a classified mission from Boss Hook. The goal of the mission is to get my hands on all the popping candy in Underworld. <laughs> Julian, I've got your stuff here. I heard Hook say that you took your adventuring in River Town just to find my marbles. Yeah, you lost your marbles, so what's up that? Thank you very much. But you don't read too much into it, it's not enough for you to be the second in command of the moles. You gotta get past me and I ain't planning on giving up my position just yet. No, I, I'm good at being the second in command. Oh, okay, just give me my stuff. I know what Julian's thinks of him. So this is my stuff. Thank you, Mr. This glass marbles I won. Are these also mine for Julian in 50 years time? 
Ah, that's the key for the iron gates behind the business street. No one needs it anymore. Thank you so much. You've given me so much stuff, mister. I have to give you something too. Well, how about this copy of the Adventurer's Malls? The Adventurer's Malls. Oh, mister, do you not know... Do you know about the Adventurer's Malls too? Sorry, I haven't read it. Then you have to read it. It's full of interesting adventures. There are all kinds of stories in the Adventures Malls, but this edition is a bit strange. It's only got the preface, the preface and the table of contents. Here, read the preface. The Malls Adventure Tips. Welcome, kid. Join the Adventures Malls and put your knowledge and courage to the test with Becky, Carbine and Pava. As you become the fourth little mole, the book is divided into four parts, each with its own unique story and a riddle will appear at the end of each part of you for you to solve. The adventure this time is different from the mole's past the visit to distant jungles, icy mountains and temple ruins. The backdrop of the story is a place all our little moles are familiar with, Bellobog. During this adventure, a group of archaeologists have uncovered the will left by Drake, the great adventurer of Bellobog, in which he stated, I have enjoyed almost 50 years of adventuring and have been to almost every destination in and out of Bellobog. Along the way, I have collected a plethora of exotic treasures, some of which I donated to the Bellobog Museum, while the most dangerous and enigmatic of which I have hidden. The treasure's location was drawn on a treasure map, which was then divided into many pieces and placed in invisible treasure chests. Only the person who finds all of the treasure chests will be able to find my treasure. The One Piece is real! This time, in the Adventures Malls, it's up to you, our four little mall, to find all the pieces of the story. If you follow the hints on the list, they will lead you to the correct locations where you will be able to gather the book pages. The pages conceal clues to the rid uh, riddles that will lead you to the invisible treasure chests. By collecting all the pages not only will you complete a copy of the Adventures Mall's hidden treasure, but you will also discover Drake the Great Adventurer's treasure. Every clue in the story may hold the key to understanding the riddle, so think carefully and don't dismiss any clues. Don't be concerned if your acute mind briefly fails you, as long as you follow your intuition, you will find the answer. We have also prepared several helpful resources for the adventurer with the what? Printed at the end of the book for your convenience. Are you ready to embark on an exciting adventure, little moles? Let's say I am. The author said in the preface, if you will follow the clues in the table of contents, you can find the corresponding locations where you can collect the pages of the book. It seems to be saying that this edition is meant to have book pages, but they are hidden somewhere, and you have to use the table of contents and clues about those hidden pages. The most adventurous page one. The unexpected parchment near the entrance of an open air cafe in Blackwater Pass. The moose saw a flyer promoting an auction. The missing miner's lamp. In Boulder Town's great mine, the moles have found notes left behind by Drake. The crates are the keys. In a cave with storage shelves in Rivet Town, the moles have found a hidden door. Treasure hunt on the battlefield. The moles have followed Drake's clues to the invisible treasure hidden in the trenches deep in the Silver Main Guard restricted zone, leading to the snow plains. Post face page 73. Okay, this sounds like a, not a book that was like published, it's like a, someone's passion project that was designed for their kids or themselves or something like that. I didn't even know. I'm trying to find the logic on designing such a book, because if it was written especially for uh, Jul uh, for uh, Hook, Julian and the girl, which names I forget at this point, then I wonder who did this, because it actually makes them go to extremely dangerous places to find those pages, so that's... It's more like for my line of work, to just visit those, those places. Like, how would even Julian and the others would be able to go to the... Uh, Soldiers restricted zone, regardless. So look at the chapter The Missing Miner's Land. It says in the Great Mine of Boulder Town. Is that where some of the missing pages are? So I do, so was this book released like before? The both parts were closed off? 
because if this book was actually released in some of the last 10 years, if I remember correctly, the time period, then it would be pretty much impossible to gather those pages. Because you couldn't freely travel between Uptown and Lowtown. Ah, whatever. I haven't found anything and I'm not even sure the, whether it's really true, but mister, if you'd like to know more about the Adventures Malls, then, you can tell, then I can tell you all about it. So what is the book about? There's all kinds of great adventures. The malls would often go into primitive jungles, those cities and even outer space. Is there a jungle in Bellabog? The grown-ups have no imagination. The adventure can be fictional, you know. Right. What is so interesting about the adventurous malls? All the protagonists in this story are children, but they often active, achieve things that adults cannot do, and when I read the adventures most, I feel like I'm on an adventure too. The author always calls the reader the fourth of the mall, so I am also a member of the malls. Well, it's fun to read. Is that how you guys got the name the malls? I am not telling you. How dare you? So who's the lead in the adventure of the malls? Don't you even know the frill malls? There's Becky, who is so independent and much cooler than boys. Hook. There's Carbon, who is good at invention and crafting, and Pava, who is strong. Okay, let me go and see. Mister, look, the great mine is mentioned in the table's contents. Maybe there's something there. Okay, so in the adventure malls. Table of contents and preface. I was supposed to change it. Team back to my original concept. So I don't know why, but I kind of like like to walk with the team that was uh, the start of the game. And plus Asta, which was like the first character I actually pulled for. The predestined character that you can get. Natasha, I'm back. I hope your expedition will make progress and your journey will be free of pain. I've heard you say that before. So, Dr. Natasha, we're back. Well, anything for you. You said Ara. Close enough. ブローニャがあまりみんなを待たせないように祈ってるわ。うん。そういえば、スバローグとクラーラちゃんは守護者の一件で影響を受けたりしてないかな。大丈夫じゃないかしら。スバローグは知恵には遠慮がないけど、ク
あることを思いついたの養父母宛に手紙を書いて散歩に届けてもらおうって、uh -huh. あまり期待はしていなかったけど散歩は母からの返信を持ち帰ってくれたのよ、well, that guy does come in handy sometimes. Well, sample being a gentleman, a rare occurrence. <laughs> 変身を手にしたとき、私も君と同じことを思ったわ。父も母も昔と同じ場所に住んでいたわ。二人とももう仕事はしていないけど、学校や病院のつてはまだあるはず。Okay, that's 運が良ければ、仮想部用の医療物資を調達できるかもしれないわ。I mean... もちろんこの件とは別に両親との再会を望む気持ちも強いの母の返信から私と同じように喜んでくれている気持ちが伝わってきたわ、well, I'm happy for you. 可能であればの話だけど君も一緒に来てくれない I don't see why not. よかったわこれで一安心ねすでにもう一度手紙を送って待ち合わせ場所を決めてるの噴水広場の近くで落ち合いましょう心配しないで行政区の周辺は大体覚えているわ She is like literally like basically I'm going to meet her parents This is a big thing But unfortunately I'm not, I'm not interested like that in that Anyway, so I do wait. Let's go talk to Svarog. Hey, I'm back. Yoso, Yoso Mono, Kurara, no Tomodachi. Hey Perkins. どうやって肉眼でロボットを見分けてるのあありがとうよそ者クラーラを助けてくれて Also meets I'm not telling you どうして途切れ途切れにしゃべるんだろう、huh. おそらく言語モジュールが故障しているのだろうクラーラのところに連れて行ってもらえるか、we'll、have to find him a new one. よそ者はクラーラの友達つつつつついてきてほしいありがとうパーキンスあ、oh, now he's open Hey there are people here What are you doing in here What is this of limits ありがとう。ナイスプレイス。来客だ、クラーラ。久しぶり。お前たち。あ、変数の皆さん。<笑> Variables。ナイスエルカスファル。What what? Another nickname for the collection. ブローニャも上下の封鎖を解くって約束してくれたし。I mean, for a machine not made for battles, like it really 
did some serious damage. Good for you. Huh? What message? Bronya? No, it's a group message. Are you seeing this? This Android can actually send messages. Huh? Oh, she meant like the uh, phone. That's an interesting sticker. So, how do you feel? Thanks to Zere, I'm fine now. Thank goodness I've already given the orders to... Hmm. Already given the orders to the Silverman guards to immediately leave the blockade between the overworld and the underworld, and some people in the underworld should have already received the notice. After closing for more than a decade, the cable car station should finally be all opening soon. If you don't mind, I would like you to come to the overworld for my succession ceremony. Woohoo! We wouldn't miss it for the galaxy. I'm busy. We'll be there. She has a weird taste in stickers indeed, like drinking roses confused. Sasugawa <laughs> 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 Well, that's done. No time for me, yes. my friend. Meet up with Natasha and prepare to welcome the reopening of the underworld. Hmm. Okay, still have the mole's mission to take care of. Don't I? I think I do. Okay. Let's see what's on the agenda then. No, it is here. Okay, good enough. So the thing is... Hold on, let me double check some. I want to check how am I doing the warp situation. Oh crap, I have a bunch of those. How many warps would that be? Like, give me a second. I mean, the new ones have been four hours. I'm not gonna get that, but yeah. No, that's the. Yeah, there we go. Ah, almost 40. What does it set? I'm kind of happy because I'm not pulling for Jin Kwan, I'm gonna be pulling for Ginro. Once she's gonna be released in. How much time? 4 days? 5 days, 15 hours. Next week then. 
next to extreme. I'm pulling for uh, Ginulo, and let's see if I'm gonna like a lucky pit here. I'm gonna fail in 50-50 because I'm gonna probably gonna fail. So it depends if I'm gonna be able to just get enough uh, jades to get myself access to at least two poles to guarantee a Ginulo. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I wonder if this game also work the same as Genshin work in the first pool because I am almost certain that the first pool you made uh, was kind of extremely heightened up because like the first 90 you had just gave you a 5 star and I'm almost certain that there was an extremely high probability that you get another 5 star with, with the next pool. Because I've seen a bunch of streamers and YouTubers online pull that trick and I was one of them. I don't have it on camera actually because I decided not to record it now, but when I first pulled in Genshin Impact, I think it was like, like 78 or 82, I don't remember, it was a, such a long time ago at this point, but yeah. My first 5 star that I got was Jean. And I was pulling on uh, Cleese banner because I didn't manage to get enough points for Venti. So I was pulling on the second ever banner, which is Klee. And I was actually kind of uh, annoyed by that, but I still had uh, one more 10 pull to have, so I just decided to just go for it. And it gave me a Klee. I basically had like uh, the next 10 after Jean I pulled was a Klee. And I've seen a bunch of other YouTubers and streamers when I was looking at it uh, online and they managed to pull the, do the same shit as well, so... I think like the game was designed to have like an extremely high chance of pulling two 5 stars in that go. Afterwards actually stopped. I'm still hoping because that like, Genshi is gonna have like... Uh, soon the next uh, uh, banner is gonna happen, it's gonna be Kazuha. And holy shit, I'm hoping I'm gonna get Kazuha because so far I have I have failed every time I'm starting to get Kazuha. Every single time. It's gonna be the third rerun of Kazuha, and I'm, if I'm gonna fail this, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Hoyovers, you hear me? You better guarantee me a bloody Kazuha. Where am I going? I'm lost, okay. I was supposed to go up to, uh, top side. I went on a tangent about Genshin Impact for a second there. Regardless. Right, I need electric. So let's switch the... Oh. Hold on, because I actually... Does it, uh, I think it does change my portrait when I switch... Uh, Let me just check in because yeah, this one is the extremely angry character. With a little bit of a. I don't know how to call it, shaggy hair, I would say. And if I switch back to Path of Destruction. Yeah. I look a lot more chill. I think I prefer it that way. But I need to switch. Uh... Where's my destruction? The broken tower, or is it? Is that it? No, collapsing sky. Enhance. No, not enhance. What am I doing? Switch. Thank you. Okay. Now I have physical. Okay, let's enable the other party. Did I destroy the barrel as well? Probably. How to use it in this situation, but... I'm actually hoping for her. Nice. Well, that one is easy. Is that it? This, this was easy. Wait, what? You're trying to ambush me. I don't take kindly to that. 
くしてあげるこの曲をあなたに This is gonna be blast. もっと叫びなさいくるくるーっと Again. ステージを重ねるほど最高になるんだちょろい Which means easy. The missing miner's lamp. Carbine and Pava were eavesdropping on the group's private chat when they were lifted up by a pair of gigantic hands, and Carbine was overcome with fear as his feet dangled in the air. Pava, on the other hand, shifted his weight, kicked the miner in the stomach, and jumped away. Only then did they notice the gigantic towering miner. What on earth are you little brats doing here? Pava's kick angered the tough and muscular miner who huffed out. It's dangerous out here. You should be at home, not here. Hey, you two kids over there. Remember how I told you not to fall out of line? Becky donned her safely helmet work gear and gloves and transformed into a little miner. Can you let me handle these two kids, big guy? I'll get them out of here. The two little moles understood Becky's words immediately. We are lost. Please take us back, sis. The burly man was a little hesitant, having never seen such a short miner before. <laughs> well, thinking quick on her feet, but he didn't think too much about it. Ma Mistress of Disguise, that one. Keep an eye on your team. The miners are dangerous. The burly man turned and marched away, carrying a pickaxe heavier than Pava. Like. It's like she definitely like invested a lot of her points in disguise and bluff. I'm always a dependable one. Where are you two is dropping on? Becky uh, inquired confidently, pushing up her safety helmet. Papa was about to point to the group location when he realized no one was there anymore. I recall them saying, let everything return to its rightful place, let the stars return to the sky. So that's what it is, Carbine said after a brief moment of thinking and a glance at the wire mesh fence on the other side. Kaiban appears to have discovered the secret. Dear readers, do you know what he should do? Moltip, if you pay close attention to the surrounding miners' lamps, you'll be able to figure out the answer on your own. I recall them saying, let everything return to its rightful place, let the stars return to the sky. Since I found a missing page here, then the riddle about the miners' lamp should be up ahead. There are yet another rules in the chapter of the Adventures Moles. Press the minus lamp in the correct spot based on the clues in the storybook. Hold on. My electric guitar, like literally electric guitar. Let the stars return to the sky. Pick up the minus lamp. The face of the lamp quietly moved aside to suddenly reveal the precious treasure before your eyes as if it was silently gazing something. More stellar jades. Discuss the result of the investigation of Julian. Back to Boulder Town I go. Julian, why are you alone again? Ah, it's you again. I'm classified mission from Bosco. Right, we have all the popping candy. About the adventurous moles. So long, I just wish to myself. Wow, mister, I've never expected you to actually find one of the pages of the adventurous moles. Mister. Maybe you can track down the rest of the missing pages with clues from the table of contents. I don't know what to look, help me. If you ask me again nicely, I might think about it. Please? Fine, I'll be generous this time. God damn it, Julian. I'm trying to be nice to your kids and you're just being rude to me. But I don't know where to look, otherwise I would have found them myself. What do they need you for? But seriously, Mr. Max should be starting to look forward to reading all those pages. Please come and find me whenever you found them all. You're useless. 
Find the remaining treasures based on the storybook table of contents. Does it show me up? No, it doesn't. So I need to find them all myself. So there are three treasures left. Fair enough. Aside from the thing, there is the uh, the Arrow Six Blizzard Immunity. Fine. Let's go back to this. I'm just gonna check on the uh, There was something wrong with the mic, mm -hmm. I think, when they recorded this thing. It doesn't sound clean, like it's a little bit distorted. I wonder if it's supposed to be the effect or not, but... Can I give you some cash? Always support your local musicians. Check the. Finally, I can go downstairs. There should be a chest here. Is that a subway? Or is this the. Uh, there is the chest. Nice. So, this is the. I'm guessing this is the thing that leads me to the Undertown. Huh? This leather suitcase has a vintage design with a layer upon layer of dust piling on top of it. Typically seeing such luggage at the transportation station is nothing unusual, so it can be said that this suitcase lonely presence still falls within the realm of what is considered normal, even though it is still somewhat out of the ordinary. After all, no traveler would ever throw away their prized luggage on the roadside like that, at least not for that long. And if this were somehow the case, then the person who left the stuff behind must be habitually forgetful or unbelievably rich. Moreover, this forgetful or rich traveler apparently left something quite extraordinary inside the suitcase. If you press your ears against it and have a listen, you can hear a sound that goes like this. Okay. Should I be worried? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It appears to be some kind of mechanized device knocking around with each passing second. Calm, soothing, but wait. Having this thing here is probably problematic. This suspicious suitcase making ticking sounds in transportation station this busy. Gosh, that's terrible. Stop right there. Uh, you know what that means, right? I'm sure you know. It's a valuable gold watch. I know. Call someone, please. There's a bomb here. Just hold on for a sec. I, what is the game doing to me at this point? I'm having a conversation with it. This is impressive. It's not just a bomb that could be ticking. What about the precious gold watches? You'd better not start a mass panning before the conclusion is reached. Fortunately, your letters yelling didn't cause anyone to notice us. Who's us? Who is speaking? And unfortunately, we still don't know if it's a bomb or just some kind of a timepiece. Either way, we've got to open a suitcase to know what is inside, but what sounds a little dishonest. In other words, to do something that goes against social ethics would cost you a praise of high morals, not to mention the guilt you'd have to endure, the look you'd get from others, the warrant for your arrest by the Silverman guards, and so on. Yeah, I've been chased before, I don't care. Or you could just turn blind and all this turn around and leave this place pretending everything you have witnessed has never even happened in the first place. But of course, you will still have to pray that this potential bomb is not going to risk public safety. It's still risk where you just leave. Let's open it! No problem. So were you ever blessed with praise of high morals? 
Of course I have. Confirm. If High Morals were a real person, you'd probably be frowning so hard at you right now. I have more of them. But one thing at a time. You will have nothing to worry about when you consume a praise of High Morals to open the suspicious circuit, so go ahead. You finally locate the source of that ticking sound in rather empty suitcase. It turns out to be a precious gold watch. The moniker Wallace is engraved on the watch along with the line Should this item come into your possession, kindly contact Wallace Cambridge Limestein. Your act of kindness should be handsomely recompensated. This watch seems destined to be here at this very moment as its wealthy owner has already made preparation for all the foreseeable fates of this watch with a possible exception that it might be mistaken for a bomb. I have the dazzling golden watch, so I offered up three mansions in exchange for his watch. A watch that was also almost mistaken for a bomb. It was said that a person prized accessories can reflect their taste to an extent. So I offered up three mansions in exchange for his watch. Fun. Hurt Locker. That was a weird one. Okay, I got the last chest. And I've kind of sort of prevented the bomb assault. I mean, judging by the amount of dust that the text seemed to indicate there was on this uh, case. I'm assuming it wouldn't be a bomb because it already would explode it. Don't get your clothes wet, well, little girl. Natasha? You're watching a fountain. That's a logical confusion, though. I always confuse a fountain with a crowd. I mean, you can hardly blame them. Nothing that much changed for them. What's the idea? I mean, I'm more like an over overworld. Like above planet overworld. How about a golden watch? <laughs> I've got I've got one. You wanna buy it? It's a vintage. War free mansions for you, I don't know, just I've got a one day. I fudge I'm gonna give it for free. Hmm. How about watching a play at Golden Theatre? To never winter workshop I mean like where do they go like hmm. It's a cliche, goddamn, but yeah, like, what do they suggest at the blue? I mean, like, I definitely wouldn't go for a play because it's not taking. It's a present, but it takes the never winter workshop. Something mechanical, because like she usually deals with that sort of thing, and I don't know, like she she's a doctor. So either the theater play, but I don't know, like, hmm. I don't even know how good are the plays in Gold Theatre, I didn't even check. Ever. I've been at the Ever Summer Flores though. Fine, let's go to the classic one. Hmm. I 
Yeah, like, you know, it's like the basic go to a present for your mother. Flowers for Mother's Day, flowers for birthday. Not very original, but classics always work. Hmm.